much. I doff my hat in you, uh, your general direction or something like that. Uh, we are the Chelsea Football Fancast. I am Stamford Chidge, and uh, hopefully there's uh, one or two people other than my mum who are out there watching or listening to us live as we do the show. This is the lovely Sophie Rose, of course. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Wave Hi. to the camera, Sophie. And these are the lovely boys on the benches. There we go. Jonathan, Seb and Dr. Mark. You can't caption that, Ross, because it's not enough time. All right. Now, we've got something uber, uber big to talk about because, um, I mean, I know we want to talk about the game and, and we will do. But um, funnily enough, uh, without name dropping, uh, Martin and I were having a, having a beer in, in Frankie's after the match. We did, yeah. And uh, we, I was meeting Jason Cundy in there. Indeed. And as we, as we were in there having a beer, Jason got a text message, somebody saying, have you heard Jose's comments about the, the atmosphere? And I got mm. a text message from Talk Sport saying, can you talk about it? I'm about? saying, what are they talking? And anyway, we basically heard the interview. And, and, and it, you know, he'd, he'd, well, I mean, I think it's fair to say he'd stuck the boot in, really. Um, so was Jose right to dig out the supporters, Seb? Um, maybe not dig out as far as he did. But there is there are there are problems and it's been going on for a, quite a long time. So in some respects he was right to say something, but I'm not sure to the extent he did. There wasn't a single carefree oh. uh, in the whole of the of the match. Well, there I mean, was you know, one at the very very beginning. Do you, I mean who cares very really how many carefrees yeah. there well, were? No, well, no, but I, 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 I don't I, want no, you two to get into a debate about how many carefrees. No, there. I think Here's that's ridiculous. No, because you, you no, no, you, no, no because ridiculous. you came out with a really good point there, and and that's what I wanted to follow up on, which is. Was there a problem with the atmosphere on Saturday? Because well, you know what, I don't think there really was. I don't well, think it was no, that no, bad. No, no, no. But I, I, what I will say is, though, is that is the is the is the point about the positive songs, which is that Rangers, mm. who I thought were magnificent, mm. ma uh, abusive most of the time, but magnificent, did um, got behind the team with their songs. There's stand up if you love Rangers, you know. We'd have so many unpositive songs going on. We, everything is, and I've talk, talked about this before, there are so many anti-Spurs songs yeah, that have nothing to do with getting behind the team. But? And, it, and from an atmosphere point of view, I think it's negative. All I right. just think it means... But that's that a slightly different thing. He, no. he, he, yes, it is. He digged out the atmosphere on Saturday. Personally, I don't think it was that bad. No, I've seen it, a lot worse. But, no, but I think there's a real question. point here. Was, no, it, there's was there's it a real point here, Which is that if the songs are about the team, the whole of the ground will join in. Well, I don't know. I think the largest and the best song from Saturday was "You're Going Down, You're Going Down, You're Going Down." Everybody joined in with that one. Yeah, but it's a but it, well, all right. That's but it's, negative. No, but it's it's about them. It's a it's a it, good it, point. It, it's still it's not that it's, blooming it's, it's, Stephen Gerrard. Song. Yeah, indeed. Oh, it's, it's about I agree completely. That's the sort of about a song. A player no longer plays for us, and a player playing for <sighs> Liverpool. Who cares about that? Mm. As, as, as is the same with. Stand up if you hate Tottenham. Well, there's, uh, luckily uh, we didn't have that this time. I loathe that song, yeah, no, but I loathe it if we're not playing Tottenham. That. But there is a reason I know why it's, it's the stewards. Song. I know. It's because. But even the Williams song has got Tottenham in it. They've all got Tottenham in them. Well, I know. One of us. Well, we don't reason, like Tottenham. Really no, I know. But what it means mean is that even you know the middle, the East Stand middle will join in if it's come on Chelsea. If it's if it's songs of one word. Chelsea, yeah. You know. Well, if it's if it's you know Chelsea. Does the Chelsea. East Stand Middle ever join in with a co collective singing? Well, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm lying down, I join in. <laughs> Does the butler do your singing for you? I mean, you, you can pay your butler to sing yeah. for you. Yeah, I do. Anyway, yeah. enough, 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 because this is a big, big No, topic. I do, but I, I, I think it's part of it is, the, is the, the songs available that are being used. And I think I and do think that's a, I, I, I do think that's but No, a but point. I think he slightly overreacted because we competed Martin, your heavily. turn, because he's just not yeah, going to shut I, up. I, 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 I Sorry, have, Martin. I do agree to some extent with what, what John said about, about too many negative songs. But the thing I, th I didn't, I, I agree with you that I didn't think the support was that bad. I've seen it worse. Well, I've seen it a lot worse. I've seen it worse. But the point that I would say is that a lot of the songs we didn't, we didn't initiate anything. Everything was, no, was in all response a, was a reaction. to what what Rangers were doing, and I mean, they were look, much look, louder. Seb, you know his point. I think we could, we're getting into semantics. Really saying, well, it wasn't that oh, bad on oh, Saturday. Right. I think generally, you know, has he got a point? Is there a problem with that, with the atmosphere? Personally, as you know, anybody who's read my article today mm. will know that I think there is. It's been I in think Detroit. There is. I mean, since the way fans have been put in the shed, which they shouldn't, why they shouldn't be anywhere near yeah, the shed. No, they definitely um, they should be in the east. Yeah, but they were, they were throwing them things down, weren't they, from above onto the, uh, from, no, from below, weren't they? Were yeah. increasingly below. They were, they were just getting at Mourinho all the time to get the managers. They I mean, can't put them back in there again. Like you said in your article, it was Mourinho who asked. Um, the club to move yeah. in from the East Low because he was all the getting the abuse, all the yeah. mm. the fans there on the linesman who was running the line there, uh, and now they're in basically which is our 
They're our, one of our, the best seats. Our, our original and favourite stand. But they had half the shed on Saturday. Yeah. They had half the shed. They were, what, 3,000? Yeah, but that's, that's, that's no, what happens no. with the maximum away allocation, which I think is about 3,000. 3,000. It's about that, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, look, the fact of the matter is this. I think to, to kind of push this along a bit, I, I want to talk to the benches about it as well in a minute, but... You know, I think I think personally, and as I said, if you if you if you want to know what I'm talking about, um, basically I wrote an article, my weekly article for the International Business Times UK Sport today was basically all on this issue, and and I think he was, I think it was a bit unfair of him to dig the supporters out, because he did it from a place of not really understanding what the issues are, and whilst I agree with his central point, which is mm. I think that the atmosphere has declined at Stamford Bridge for mm. the last 10, mm. 20 years. Um, there are specific reasons for that, and none of them really are of the supporters making. No. It wasn't us that no. priced the vocal support out of it. It wasn't us that mm. make it too expensive for young kids to go. You know, there mm. are there are a plethora yeah, of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it wasn't us that it was. It was Ron Gourlay, interestingly enough. And I think actually this is one thing I missed in the article. I think the timing of this is fascinating. He's come out with this, and he's a very clever guy, and he pretends he doesn't know what he's talking about. I disagree. Ron Gourlay, you know, he's he's been given the you know I don't know if he's been giving him the elbow but he's he's, he's going anyway. soon mm. and he was the this was Ron's key strategy was to market the cast the, the, the club to new customers in in Ron's perfect world there would be 42,000 different people in there every week that's his perfect storm who would then spread it around the all world all spending money in the mega store all drinking and eating the consumables mm. you know mm. we people oops, sorry Mike uh, we uh, you know who go there every week we don't do that we don't spend money inside the ground so you know we didn't cause that to happen so I think it was unfair of him to, to question us but I actually I think the best thing about it really for me is that by getting Jose to say something it will put this four square on the agenda and will help people like us the supporters trust people like them to ram that message home that they have to do something about it some final comment from the benches benches are you what do you think Interesting stuff. Well done, Dad. What are they saying on Twitter and Mixilla, my love? Uh, so, unfair to single out the fans, yeah. one fan says. But then another says, um, he was spot on, but poli but politically incorrect. Who said that? Um, that would be somebody I can't pronounce the name shall of. I, shall I help you with that? Yes, have a look. Ah, oh, that would be Babatunde Jido Obatayo. <laughs> yes. There's nothing really yeah. hard about that. Oh, yeah. Come on, Sophie. Come okay, on. sorry. I'm obviously Shall not I let you into a little secret? I had a look at that in the break and I thought, blimey, that's a difficult one. So oh, I, you practiced it. <laughs> I bet you did. Don't let Am on, Chidge. Don't let on. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't want to, you know, I'm being kind. Yeah, very. Right, so what about Twitter? Anybody saying anything exciting on Twitter? Uh, sort of the same thing, really, but I don't think a lot of it um, people are saying is aimed at deflecting away from a poor yeah. performance. What, is, what has John Joyce said? Bad. John John knows what he's talking about. Fans, not customers. Mm, yeah, sage words. All right, so, um, you know, I think it's interesting. As I said, I, I think the great thing is he's put it on the agenda. You know, Tim Rolls has been quoted widely in the print and, and radio media all week. He was on the radio, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was on TalkSport on Saturday. I'm on, some, I'm on some channel tomorrow. He was on Sky Sports. He was on Sky Sports yeah. today. So it's got it on the agenda. And I, I mean, you know, believe you me, the damage that the Premier League and, and the big clubs have created and caused in terms of atmosphere has been going on for 20 years. It will take a long time to address that. Safe standing would be one thing. Indeed, absolutely. But yeah. yes, and I think that whether that's ever going to be implemented because the, go the government's though, really, really anti it. But um, to one, one last thing, I honestly think that the atmosphere was affected by the, the volume of the Rangers fans who were the loudest I have ever heard them be. And they were phenomenal. Mm. See, that's so, really odd. And, I, and I'm sure, you see, this is the trouble with Stanford Bridge. I'm right up at the other end, and I didn't think they were that impressive. Well, yeah, from the, from the middle uh, ten. That's what, because yeah. down below me, that's where, where Jose was. And I think he even commented on that. And that was even commented on by some of my yeah, Rangers mates who were anyway, saying look, brilliant. Anyway, look, we've got to move on, Jonathan, because Ross is yeah, going to be... Yeah. I mean, I know I've got a red face, but I can just envisage how red his face is going in the gallery. Whoever is there, I always think, has a red face. Jonathan was red we, last should we swap? week. Yeah. You wouldn't like that, would you? I'm sort of a lefty. Are you? I'm okay. right-handed, but I'm more, more, more to the left. She's got a nice tan, Ross says. You've got a nice tan? Oh, thank you, Ross. It's all natural, Ross. isn't it? But she it's hasn't I'm, got I'm a tan I'm at all. I'm half Cypriot Greek. You're half Cypriot Greek? Yes. With a name like Rose? Well, 
Is that your stage name? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me your real name in the break? And yes. I promise not to say. Yes, All right, I can, okay. yes. We should move on, we should move on. Uh, the Invisible <laughs> Touch, I've named this part. There's a bit of a musical theme going on with this, because shall, shall I let you into secret? Is this You'll to love do this. with Genesis? Invisible Touch, mm. and the next one is Complete Control. Complete Control. Name okay. those bands. Hawkwind. It may well have been in your world, Jonathan. In my world, it's the clash. But Invisible Church, I mean, you know, Costa was back, and we should have been absolutely ecstatically happy about that. And, in fact, we were. Yeah. Um, Except he was well, well, well channelled by Dunn well, and Dunn played uh, well. Kulka, and also he wasn't 100%. I don't think he was. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, for me, it was just the final, the, final, the final touch, the final ball was the, 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 the thing that was missing, really. And I, 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 I kind of went away from that. Let's try and do these two parts in, in one if we can. But I kind of went away from there thinking, I mean, I didn't think we played that badly. I was really surprised when I heard all these comments. But I felt that we were pretty much in complete, complete control. In the first half, it should have been three up, three or four up. And most, yeah. And on another, yeah. on another day, yeah. they would have gone in. We'd have four or five, you yeah. know. Yeah. What, what do you reckon, boys? Yeah, I mean, like Jonathan said, if we scored really, really early, then it could have been five or six, really. But the longer it went on at 1-0, you just kind of thought, hmm. They'll get back that was more time. like last year as well, wasn't yeah, it? I mean, it's like yeah. Chelsea of old, that was always yeah. the case. Was that the case under Ranieri? We might not, we might not have won that game last year. No, indeed. Well, I, I agree with you completely. I, I don't think we'd have won it last year. I think no. they'd have, they might even have scored again last yeah. year. Why do we have these problems with QPR? I know, it is I mean, odd. We just should be slapping Although, it, although it should Other be teams said, do. we did slap them 6-1. And, and, and Torres scored a hat-trick. That's got to be the ultimate insult. But they always refer back to that under the... Benito's game. And the, I mean, the, Ross has just made a good point in my ear, and he says that they are always up for it. I mean, it is oh, their yeah. cup final. Yeah. Ten it blokes from Acton, mm. you know. Mm. West London is ours. Yeah. But yeah. Ten yeah. blokes from Acton, are you mm -mm, sure? <laughs> I sort of agree with uh, Alan Shearer, who said that Chelsea got the job done on Sunday. They got the job done. They got done. the job done. Only with yeah. a Geordie accent, which I wouldn't even You're a big man, they they out of shape. They got yeah, the job done. It's a full-time job, son. But what I do think, it, I disagree with you that you know it was just the final ball that was missing. I thought after we scored, the foot came off the gas. And they were strolling. Strolling! Yeah. Just strolling <laughs> by the light of the... No, 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 no. Me no. and Sarah are just like we weren't born. We'll take... Yeah. Well, I, I know the words. That's, that's a really modern song. No, no. It's no, one no, of your ex No, excuse people. me, we weren't born either. It's a song from the 30s. Oh. <laughs> oh. Flanagan and Allen. Flanagan and Allen. It's a, it's a historical the song. Oh, well, the we, we dream of dream from that's what you see. If we were singing Chelsea songs mm. like that, the East Stand would join in. Yeah, would, I'd Maybe, join in. Yeah. Are you through? And the West Stand. My butler would be joining you without any problem. <laughs> I mean, I could, listen. One quick, quick point. Because I thought, I thought the comedy defending. I mean, I know we said that Keepy defended well, but I thought some of the comedy defending was hilarious. They kept on passing the ball to. There was know, one, one instance I remember vividly. You, you would have remembered this because it was right in our eye line. And, and this guy tried to deal with a high ball that bounced, and he did. I mean, I, I, if you've ever seen me play football, and luckily you haven't. Um, this is the kind of stupid thing I would have done. The man had so little technique that he couldn't bring the ball under control yes. at all. And in the end, he just kind of like half shanked it out into the box straight to a Chelsea. And they were doing that all the they time. They did that, and, or it went to touch one or the other. It, yeah. it was comedy from them. Well, that's why I thought we half. should have scored four, yeah. because if any team that does that with us, we should instantly punish them. Indeed, we, d we should. But did you read, did you read, did you see what Martin Keown? Keown! He's, he's got, got a monkey's head. head! He's, <laughs> got, <laughs> a monkey's head. he's <laughs> got a monkey's head! He's got a monkey's head! What Keon said, he said, Chelsea are nearing <laughs> perfection. <laughs> Probably if he's got a Chelsea are nearing it. perfection. It's the best team he's ever seen in the Premiership. Yes, yeah, but you know why that. he's saying that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He wants the he coach. setting us up to knock he us he down. He wants a job. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Keon with a passion. Yeah. I remember I met Nigel oh, Spackman that. once. Uh, a I met him ago. too. You met Spackers. Oh, I've got a picture with him. He's so lovely. Did you did you go up to him and go na 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 Spackman? No, of course I didn't do that. You're supposed to do that. I should I should do that. No, but he was a really really lovely man. He's lovely. I think he invited me for dinner. Did he? Fancy that? I wonder what a surprise. That sounds like a surprise. I say, what a fantastic player Spackman was. I think he was a superb player. He was a superb to such an extent that Liverpool snapped him up. Do you know what I said to him, though? I went up to him, and after I'd done the obligatory na 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 which he actually did enjoy, I said, Nigel, I just want to shake you on the hand. On the hand? <laughs> shake you it with... Uh, shake hands hand. with you! Bye! Shake hands with you! I want to shake hands with you for smacking Martin Keown one. I said it's one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen on a football field. And he laughed. He roared with laughter. He roared with laughter. Because it wasn't him. It was it? No, I know. I was just... He got sent off for yeah, it, but it was worth it. I remember. You did what... You did what 40 odd thousand people all were baying to do. You made me a very happy man. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, uh, talking of... Uh, just one thing very quickly I want to talk about, actually. It occurred to me watching the game. I have these kind of weird musings. Jo I should sit with you and your butler, because then I could have a chair to muse on. Yeah, but you wouldn't watch the game. Yeah, but I could be musing, and it would yeah, be amusing true, to true, muse. That's true, yeah. yeah anyway. Yeah. You can't see because the parapet's too high. You can't I was actually musing, see off. And I've been <laughs> musing about the fact that we have a golden triangle, which is, if it was Germany, it would be a golden shower, but we're better than that, <laughs> so it's a golden triangle. <laughs> anyway, the golden triangle at Chelsea is... Oscar Hazard Fabregas because I watch the game and everything that happens it's like you could put string between them wherever they go there's always a triangle and it all happens with this Chelsea golden mm -hmm. triangle but do you think they work that out in training do they all get no, do they do you no. or do you just happen to the, the, great, the great players just all gravitate towards each other and happens it happens they turn up and they say it's just playing do you think Fabregas learnt that when he was at Barcelona by the way <laughs> don't say that, <laughs> that don't say that it's banned word on the fan cast mate but what do you think seriously yeah, they're, just, they're just in the same way you like yeah, that they, yeah, like they, that plan yeah, they're sort of the same sort of players really they're kind of like the small but it is it's like this kind of concept and they're always looking to play the other one in. It's just, when I, I played Sunday movement. football, we tried all the midfield tried to stay yeah. together as much as possible. Mm. Does that, it work? Totally just a, well, <laughs> it's disintegrates. I've got a vision of you playing in like a really long shirt and very long shorts from the fifties. <laughs> no, and no, one no. of those, you know, those boots that like Dennis the Menace used to. Yeah, wear? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had those, but the opposite. I had unbelievably tight shorts that were right up there. Well, that was it in the seventies. Yeah, there was exactly, yeah, absolutely. And, yet, and if you went for a header, you completely nutted yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, I think we should move on. That's oh, this is pre-Watershed, we should remember this. No, but your, your, your golden triangle is the three Bs, isn't it? What? The three Bs. The three Bs? Yeah. Dare I hear this? Brazil, Belgium and Barcelona. I love all the Brazilian mm. players. You love all the Brazilian? Yeah. Why is that so? You like a Brazilian? I don't know. I, I just, I've always loved them. <laughs> it's because of the bossa nova. What, what are you saying? <laughs> no, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say anything. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, should we move this on? I want to very quickly. I want to very. Uh, Viva I Las Vegas. Shush. 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 I want to talk about Hazar. Uh, because, of course, I think, again, he was brilliant. Um, Hazar! Definitely a penalty, wasn't it, Seb? Absolutely. I, I, I thought it was just outside from where I sit, but obviously I'm watching Max. Interestingly today. enough, the ball was outside the penalty area, yeah. I think, but he wasn't, crucially. Yeah. But e even Rob Green said it was a penalty, so when, when your own. Teammates are team saying, admits it, yeah. Yeah, no, it I thought that it's a shame that Vargas, who committed yeah. the penalty, was actually very good. He's he, was, he, was their best he was their best street. player, by, wasn't he? Absolutely. Well, he, he nearly single handedly beat Liverpool the other week, although yeah. that's obviously not saying too much. No. But it's interesting to see all these, these South American players come over and be really well, com com competent, competent in the Premier League. You, know, you pick the good ones, and, and, and they're good players. Yeah. But I mean, Hazard definitely a penalty, wasn't it? Yeah. But I, the wonderful thing about that Hazard, Hazard penalty is that I don't think there was a person in that stadium who didn't think he was going to score. I mean, everybody oh, no. knew. Yeah. I was just going to say, I, I, I <laughs> always, he just doesn't it miss. It was a penalty. No, no question it was well, a penalty. Don't jinx it. But I always feel a bit sorry for the defending side <laughs> with those. When it's right on the edge of the box, and you, you, you don't really think he's, he might score, but the chance are he probably won't. And then the ref gives a penalty, and then he, yeah. and you do score. I, I have some sympathy. With you know you know what he does? I was watching Sky situation. this morning, and they had Matt Letizia talking about it, who, who, who was a phenomenal penalty taker mm -hmm. in his day. And he said the amazing thing about Hazard is he doesn't look at the ball no, at all when he kicks no. it. He just indeed. gives the keeper the eyes and yeah, then he, he just does, kicks yeah. it. Yeah. And, and Matt Lizzie said, he said, I've been watching him do that. He said, I, and I've been trying to do that. And I said, I cannot begin to describe how, how hard difficult. it is to do that. And, and also, equally, how hard it is for the goalkeeper. Mm. Because they don't want to come out because they, you know. What a, I, he is just, I think he's the best penalty taker I've ever seen. And I'm including Frank in that. No. Okay, uh, I'm being no. told to okay. shut up oh, and okay. move well, on. I was, I was, I that oh, no, Ross, oh, no, no, Ross is, Ross is just disagreeing with me. Oh. We can carry on. I was going to say, he's only Are we having any breaks anymore? Is that yeah, we are, we are. Happening? He's, he's only missed... 30 seconds, apparently. Oh, really? Oh, right, right. You know how this works now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do, actually, yeah. We can just talk, keep, just annoys him, doesn't it? It's brilliant, <laughs> you know. Anyway, as, no, long as, as long as in your ear it's not it as it was last week a lot. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> uh, I don't quite know what I'm supposed to be doing. But okay, we've got to go because there's only 15 seconds. Uh, now, after the break, we will be reviewing the winners and the losers in the Fannies for our match awards against QPR. I'll see you two in a second. Bravo! Bravo! Great job, you're back, Chief.